All right, let's just keep on rocking these skyscrapers. So let's get back to it. Same thing, we're gonna try and spot them. So again, let's use number filtering just to help us out. Here we we can't uh, spot one because right now you're you're actually noticing uh, a square here and a square here. So no skyscraper there. The twos. You you could possibly um, mistake just by looking strictly at shape. You could see this here and think this is a skyscraper, but these two are in the same box and these two are in the same box. Not to mention there's nothing to rule out as far as twos go there, so that's not going to work for you. So we'll just continue on to the next set of numbers. We'll look at threes now. Again, you could maybe think that this is like a tight uh, skyscraper, but no. For one, you have no numbers you could eliminate between them, and these two are in the same box, and these two are in the same box, so can't satisfy it with that. Um, if you look at rows, you could look at here's a row that has two, and here's a row that has only two numbers, so a three could be here or here or here or here, but again, this one satisfies it as far as you have a cell in each box but you don't have a situation where your top, because this would be the top if, you, if this was a skyscraper, you don't have a situation where these two cells can actually see something, so this is, there's no skyscraper that exists here. Looking at fours, again, nothing, nothing spotted there. Look at fives. Okay, so this one actually, this one's again could be a one that's kind of tricky to spot, but this one actually um, does work. So there is a skyscraper in the fives right now. I'll give you a second to look just a little bit more to see if you can spot it. The one I'm seeing right now is like that. And you can tell where the base would be. The base is down here. Your top of your skyscraper is always going to be where the uh, the rooftops don't line up directly across and in this scenario there's only one cell that actually stands out where you could have um, two cells that that are highlighted right now that see the same cell and again you're going to be using your top cells to eliminate your top of your rooftop so here we have a cell if we look across here's one that has a possibility of a five that can be seen by this cell and by this cell that's the only one that we can spot right now and that's good because now we know five cannot exist here and if we exclude five from it now it's given us a single so I'm going to turn off my color formatting and that definitely helped us out. And the whole puzzle got unlocked just from finding that one skyscraper. Alright, there was one other skyscraper on this puzzle as well that I did not spot the first time around. I saw it when I was going back and uh, watching the replay on the first video. So our first skyscraper again was uh, those four cells, but actually another skyscraper that would fit more with the 
shape we're used to seeing would be this one. It's upside down, but here's your base, and um, you have a column here and a column here. They have fives. And then here's your rooftop. So if you started with the lower one and worked towards the upper one, you'd spot this cell here that they can both see. So that one would be ruled out. And then if you go back the other direction and you go across here, you would actually spot here, here, and here. Oh, excuse me, not there. <laughs> here and here would be um, two other cells that this one sees and this one sees. So we'd have this one and this one that we could also mark. <clears throat> so that was another skyscraper I missed. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, that definitely rounds out the skyscraper series.